Hey everyone, this is Mike and today I'm going to answer a question that I get asked way more than I thought I would have. Why Lala fell? I feel like if I were to play as a cat girl or something else, I probably wouldn't get this as often, but here we are. Now, to answer this question, I need to go back to when I first started playing the game, as I wasn't always a Lala fell. My name being a very good example of that, as the Dalamic part of my name is a reference to an Aura tribe, and you can find the whole list of the Aura tribes in the first encyclopedia book of Eorzea. When I first got interested in Final Fantasy XIV, Heavensward had just released, and Heavensward was the Dragon's expansion. You we were fighting the Dragon Song War, new race Aura with Dragon People, and as a big fan of Dragons myself, I just had to check the game out. But when I tried out the free trial, I was met with the fact that you couldn't choose Aura, as I was locked behind the paywall of needing to own Heavensward, so I went with Catboy. Now, my first Final Fantasy XIV experience didn't last all that long, because I just couldn't stand the slow early game combat, but after trying out a few different classes, I eventually ended up buying Heavensward and I made myself an Aura character and I played it a decent amount. However, once my sub ran out, I decided not to refresh it because I just didn't really feel like I played the game enough to justify paying a subscription for it. A year passes and I end up getting the itch to return to Final Fantasy XIV because a friend of mine invited me to play World of Warcraft and I chose to play a mage over there which just reminded me of the black mage that I had on XIV and just made me want to return to the game even more. And this is when I really got into it. I picked up a new job, that being Ninja, finally made it to end game, and I got into an active free company as well and then I just got hooked on the game as a whole. Not quite sure how it is right now, but back then when you were subbed to the game for a little while, I think it was 30 days, maybe a bit more, not quite sure, but you would get a free Fantasia, and on the fateful half-drunk night, I thought to myself, wouldn't it be funny if I were to go Lalafell? Now, as I mentioned before, the FC I was in at the time was quite active, we did a lot of stuff together, hung out at the FC house, did content, that kind of stuff, and that Fantasia was just drawing me into Go Potato, so I just thought it would be kind of funny to be Lalafell for a little bit and then eventually go back later, but I think we all know how that ended up going. I kind of like being this tiny person, there was a decent amount of comedic value to be had as well, and games are meant to be fun, so playing something that would up the enjoyment is high on the list, so I stayed Lalafell for a little while. Eventually, I did end up going back to Aura, but I just couldn't get used to it anymore. They felt too big, and the male Aura running animation also just felt a little bit off, so it didn't take long for me to return to being a potato. Now, over the years, I did switch here and there again, this time mainly to female Aura, because they are a lot shorter than the male ones, and at the launch of Shadowbringers, I also went bunny for a few weeks, mainly to fan service a friend of mine more than anything, uh, but it was just to have a little bit of fun. But again, it wouldn't take long for me to just go back to Lalafell because it just felt right. There are also some advantages that come with playing a Lala that I just got so used to that it feels weird being a bigger character now and it kind of throws me off of my game a little bit as well. The main one being is that it's really easy to see your hitbox. Each character has the same hitbox, but on Lalafell it's really easy to see where you would be able to squeeze yourself into as opposed to playing a normal sized character. So when I was playing something else, I would often second guess myself about whether or not that AoE would hit me, for example. Uh, I ended up clearing Ultima Weapon on Viera at the beginning of Shadowbringers on Gunbreaker because I really wanted to clear it on Gunbreaker and I actually had a lot tougher of a time than I would have imagined purely because I just kept second guessing myself about am I actually going to get hit here and during the Ultima phase there's a lot of tight dodges in there so it was especially difficult over there. However, it's also not all good though. You being small also has its disadvantages. Losing track of where your character is on the screen when you're doing content that has a lot of players, the Lugrim Regine Savage being the best example of that, and sometimes your teammates might also not see you either, and then if you get an AoE marker on your face, you can kind of give them a jump scare as you emerge from between their legs, or sometimes when there's a stack mechanic, they might not be able to find you or something like that. But those things usually end up being some of the funny moments, because you ended up dying or wiping because they couldn't find you, so again, that adds to the comedic value a little bit. As a content creator, it's also not ideal because of how I decided to make my walkthroughs of certain fights, uh, as a small character could sometimes be a little bit annoying to keep track of for players that aren't used to it, but that's a complaint I used to get a lot more at the beginning, I don't really see that one all that much anymore, so I just don't really mind all that much, and I definitely wouldn't become a bigger character purely for the fact that I'm making videos. And then of course the worst part is that a lot of glamour just doesn't look good on you. 
which, believe it or not, is actually one of the main reasons why I sometimes went back to playing Aura, because some things just looked better on them. But again, I just couldn't get used to it anymore, and I would just end up going back soon after. So it all kind of started out as a joke, where I wanted to just have some fun with FC friends, that eventually became something that I just got used to. It just feels wrong not being this tiny person anymore. And I just kind of got attached to it, because I think that this goes for a lot of other players as well, but once you play your character for a few years, you just get attached to the look of your character, and switching it around might just not feel all that right to you anymore. Although I do know that there are some serious Fantasia addicts that have a different look every day of the week, so there's those people as well, but I guess I am the former. Anyways, that's pretty much all I had to say. Let me know in the comments why you decided to play the race that you chose to play, and the look that you went with, whether or not you stick to that look, or if you switch it around quite a bit. Mainly talking about character customization here and not glamour because I am someone that switches in between different glamour plates quite often as well. So with that, I want to thank you for watching, I want to thank my Patreons for their support, and I'll see you in the next one.